welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Danny, and this is Coffee Break with Danny. Today we're here with a very special video because I don't know about you, but I like to celebrate my birthday all month. Today we are here with a tutorial. Now this tutorial is going to be sort of like a party birthday look. It could also be a look for the holidays. It could also be your New Year's Eve look. It could be your Tuesday look because that's how you roll and I'm proud of you. So today we're going to focus on metallic and glow. That's it. That's all we're doing here. Now for purposes of this video, I went ahead and did all of my base products off camera because I think that when it comes down to base products, it's like, I don't know, your preference over mac and cheese. Some people like it runny, some people like it saucy, some people like it stringy. So it's all a personal preference when it comes down to base products. You like it dewy, you like it full coverage, some people like powder foundation, other people like um, liquid or gels. I mean, it is so varying. So I didn't want to tell you, hey guys, this is how you should do your face because you should do your face however you like to do your face. This video is in partnership with Flower Beauty and we're going to focus Focus on some of my favorite Flower Beauty products. I have partnered up with Flower Beauty before. I secretly totally did it because I've been a Drew Barrymore fan since ET, okay? Um, that's how old I am. <laughs> so if you wanna celebrate life with me, you may wanna follow me on Instagram because later today, we're gonna be doing a giveaway with a lot of these amazing holiday products. So if you see any products in this video that you absolutely love, must have, just be aware that Flower Beauty is currently having an amazing holiday sale. Some of these products that I'm gonna show you guys at a really great value price. So if you wanna see how I got this look, all you have to do is keep on watching. All right, you guys, let's go ahead and get started. And you know, here at Coffee Break with Danny, we like to make a mess with eyeshadows. So what we're gonna do first, just for safety purposes, <laughs> is we're going to take a brush. This is actually a concealer brush, but I like to use it to deposit powder and just some random loose powder. And we're going to apply that to this area of the face so that when I go ham sandwich with these gorgeous shadows that I'm about to show you, look, it's raining powder. You guys see that? So what I like to do is I like to focus the powder here and then bring it down to the top of my lip and the edge of my nose. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but when you apply shadow, you see if there's any sort of fallout, that's exactly where it's gonna fall. Now I know this may look alarming, but what we're simply doing is protecting the foundation, concealer, and powder that we've already laid out on our skin. I actually have this idea of what I wanna do um, using several products from Flower Beauty. The first one that has to absolutely 100% without a shadow of a doubt go on my face is the new Jungle Lights palette. The way that it looks in the pan is amazing. The way it translates on the skin is 10 times more amazing. The other palette that I'm contemplating using is the Shimmer in Shade Eyeshadow Palette in the shade Sugar Rush. I'm thinking something like a green, like a sparkly green and like a magenta combination. Two products that I for sure wanna use are the Warrior Glitter Shadows. These are liquid glitter shadows, which are actually very easy to use. They dry down. They have a really beautiful, uh, colorful metallic base, but they also have glitter. Now, if you're a fan of glitter, but you're not a fan of glitter, um, you know what I'm saying? Are you picking up what I'm putting down? Glitter can be messy. So if it already comes mixed into a base color, it's gonna be a lot easier to use. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start off with something a little unconventional. It might come to you guys as a surprise, but if you are an 80s or 90s child, you will totally understand the color selection. We're gonna start off with the Flower Beauty Shimmer and Strobe Palette. This is the lighter shade. There is a lighter and a darker shade. Um, we are going to take that rosy tone or the pinkest but lightest shade in the palette and a flat shader brush and that's going to be our brow bone highlight. What? I know, right? But like I said, if you guys are a 80s or 90s babies, you will understand and appreciate this type of shadow on the brow bone. When the light hits it just perfectly, you have a really um, beautiful glow on the brow bone. 
And I don't know if you guys have noticed in tutorials recently, but aside from highlighting the nose, which is also very common now, they have been dropping a lot of highlighter on the top of the brow. So we're just bringing it down here to kind of make our um, eyebrow look a little bit lifted and also to celebrate the holidays. We're gonna do the same thing on this side. Now, if you're not a fan of a highlighted brow bone, you could certainly use a matte vanilla shade, but... <laughs> We like to be extra around here. Okay, now we're gonna go in with, you know what, let's take um, the Warrior Glitter Shadow in Camo. Look how pretty that color is. And we are going to put that on the outer half of the eyelid. Now, you could see how much product is on there. This is what, um, the product looks like it's such a beautiful metallic color but we don't want to use too much of it because everyone's eyelid space is different and nobody has that much real estate okay so just put the littlest bit on the outer half and on the other outer half not too much because when you blend it out it dries really fast and if you're slow we're gonna be stuck with the blob on our eyelid I'm gonna take a synthetic brush and I'm going to blend that out making sure i don't go past the crease we're just keeping it in the outer half of our eyelid and not going past the crease okay not going past the crease i'm not using any artificial lighting right now this is all sunlight coming through a window and you can see the sheen with this liquid eyeshadow it's crazy you guys okay now we're going to give this just a little wipe down and we are going to take the same type of product, but in the shade Blade, you guys, look at how beautiful this color is. Isn't that stunning? So we're gonna do the same exact thing, but on the inner portion of the lid. Make sure that you kind of overlap the shades just a little bit where they meet so you don't have a very harsh line of demarcation like chick, Oreo cookie, cookie, cream filling. You know what I mean? <laughs> now give it a little time to dry because we are gonna layer it with some eyeshadows, but we wanna make sure that we don't sandwich it in. Okay, you guys? Let it dry, let it dry, and then we're gonna go in with some shadows. All right, you guys, we're gonna take the Sugar Rush palette and this color right here, a big fluffy blending brush, and that's going to be our transition shade. So we are going to put that on the crease and just above the crease. So our placement's going to be right here in between the lid and the brow bone. So we're gonna take that shadow. And I love these palettes. They're super pigmented and very easy to blend. Now, if we give these um, metallic shadows enough time to dry, you're not gonna have glitter fallout everywhere, which is kind of nice. So if you guys are users of glitter, but you hate the mess, this might be uh, one of those drugstore beauty products that you absolutely need in your collection. So you could see that transition color, super pretty. It's a pink, but it's still very neutral. Now we're gonna do the other side. Who's ready for the fun to begin? If you need one product in this entire tutorial, it's this palette. It's called Jungle Lights. It's one of the most recent launches of Flower Beauty. And I just can't explain the beauty of this product to you guys. You see it in the pan and you're like, all right, so it's sh happy, shimmery, glittery colors. Mm. Do you guys see that? It is just chalk filled, loaded with metallic goodness. I put it on my middle finger. I wonder if these are named. They are. This is wild. <laughs> okay. I'll see you, Drew Barrymore. So we're going to take wild on our middle or ring finger. And we're going to pack it in the same place that we applied blade. So this is going to be like our topper to just kind of tie everything together. Look at that. You guys see that? Isn't that crazy? All right. We need a little bit more. This is a very creamy eyeshadow, so it's very easy to use. And it's not going to add any sort of dryness to your eyelids. So, wild. I see you, wild. Look how pretty this color is. I can't wait to go in with the olive or like the camo green color. I actually can't wait to see what the name of it is. <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna move over into the center shade in the Jungle Lights palette. That's this color right here. 
Camo is one of my favorite colors. I don't care if it's metallic, glittery, flat, matte, in paint, in a shirt, in a jacket. I love that tone of green. And it is called Anaconda. <laughs> wow, okay. So the theme of jungle is carried out throughout this entire palette. Same finger. We're gonna take Anaconda. That's what it looks like. And we're going to apply it the same way we did Wild. Just pack it onto the lid. Kind of blend it over. And I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back in with the transition shade and then I'm gonna go back in with Wild and just kind of make them blendy together. So right now you could see that clear demarcation. So we just wanna make sure that we go in and we make sure that we blend them out real, real nice so that it's nice and smooth. Just for giggles, we're gonna go in with a deeper shade of magenta from the Sugar Rush palette. And we are going to take this color right here. It's very matte and it's very beautiful. And this is gonna go on a smaller blending brush. And we're gonna put that directly into the crease, directly into the crease, not above, not below, directly into the crease. So it's gonna touch a little bit of Wild and Anaconda and it's going to blend out everything a little bit nicely, but it's also going to continue to emphasize that like pink and olive look. So directly into the crease, blend, blend, blend. All right, you guys, we are done with the top portion of the eye. What we're gonna do is take any sort of powder brush that you like to use and we're going to dust off all of that extra powder and then do our lower lash line. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take um, camo again. You guys ready? You're nervous? I'm a little nervous too. And I'm going to just dot a little bit out here. Do you like how I said dot and I'm just running it? I'm running it, I'm running it. This um, doe foot applicator actually has really good control of, of application. I like that. This is one of those products that isn't hard to use, so it shouldn't be um, intimidating. These warrior eyeshadows would be awesome for New Year's Eve or for all those holiday parties because they have like the perfect amount of glitz. They're easy to use and it's from an affordable brand, you know? Take your favorite small brush. I mean, as small as you can find so we don't make a mess because when you're dealing with metallic shadows, you wanna be super careful that you don't get them everywhere, especially since we just removed all that powder. So we're gonna go in with Anaconda again and just a really small, just the smallest amount. I don't know if you guys can see, there's barely, I just barely tapped in there. And we're gonna run that over, over um, camo. Holy mackerel, look how pretty that is. Oh my gosh. Same on this side. I'm so excited, I wanna keep putting products on my face. <laughs> this is gonna be one of those looks where I just don't know when to walk away. Give your tiny brush a little tap off, a little wipe off and go in with uh, Wild again. The littlest bit. We're gonna run that over the inner half. Kind of bring it over across into Anaconda. We are done with the eyeshadow portion of this look. We are going to move on to mascara. And how many of you guys are mascara stackers or mascara cocktail makers. I just can't avoid it. As much as I want to keep it simple and not use that many mascaras, I can't control it. I need a volumizing mascara. I need a lengthening mascara. I need all the help I can get. So we're going to take the original Lash Warrior mascara. Let me show you guys the wand. It has that beautiful silicone wand. This is going to comb out my lashes perfectly and it's going to lengthen them and separate them. But after that, because that's not good enough, we need the drama. You guys, it's my birthday month. You know, we need, we need the drama, we need the excitement, we need like the pizzazz. We're gonna go in with the Lash Warrior Princess. Look at the difference in the wand. So this is more of a traditional or classic mascara wand, and this one's gonna give you the boom, like massive volume. So let's go in with the original first. You guys are gonna see. It separates them real quick, real easy.
When it comes to this area of the face, I have already bronzed or contoured. I like to say it's the same thing because I use a bronzer to contour. <laughs> so I just kind of run them together. I've already done that. However, for cheeks, we're going to do a little mixeroo of products because there is a new Flower Beauty product. Should I just show it to you guys? Spoiler alert, I'm going to show it to you. It's called The Pyramids, and this is in the shade Rose Glow. Look at that. I already put my giant finger in there and you can tell it's a little burr, but oh my goodness, isn't that magical? Oh, it's so beautiful. But first, we are gonna go in with one of my favorite blushes or formula of blushes at the drugstore. These are the Flower Pots from Flower Beauty. Oh, when these came out, I bought every color. I know it's disgusting. Like who am I and why would I need that? But I'm like, well, it's a drugstore brand. It's more affordable. It's cruelty free. It's easy to find. Why not? So we're going to go in with the shade Sweet Pea. The peach one is my favorite, you guys. Um, and just a blush brush. This blush reminds me of my favorite blush of all time, which I can no longer use because the brand is not cruelty free, um, but it was Santa Rose from Rimmel. When I switched over, that was one of the products that I had the hardest time letting go of, but then I was like, wait, Sweet Pea is like an exact dupe. Why are you crying? <laughs> so that's the blush that we're gonna use, and we're gonna focus that on the apples of the cheeks, and then we're gonna bring it back. So give it a little tap, tap, tap apples of the cheeks, and then bring it back. You see how pretty that color is? It's like the perfect winter pink. You know that like rosy glow, like, oh, I'm going out in the snow, and then you come back inside looking all flushed and cute. I don't live in a place where it snows, so I just would imagine that's what it's like. <laughs> We're gonna do the other side now. Same thing, start on the apples of our cheek, and then bring it back. Okay, so we're finished with blush, but because, again, we do things in extreme over here, we're going to take the Rose Glow Pyramid and we're gonna focus it on this side where the darker shades are. So just give it a little Did you see that? Do you want me to show you again? It was like a very professional, very professional pro makeup artist. <laughs> you go Tap off the excess because it is really glowy. And we're gonna put that right here. Don't worry, we're still gonna use highlighter. So again, let me show you. And then we're gonna do it on this side. I don't, I feel like that's not enough. I feel like we need to do more. Hold on a second. Let's just, is that? Oh, do you see that? Wow. Do you guys like my hair ties? It's Velcro. <laughs> My favorite part of every single tutorial is highlighter, and I have a few options. I'm starting to get overwhelmed. I may want to do all of them. The first one is the palette that we used for the brow bone. I mean, let's talk about that for a second. Isn't it cute? I like it. I love when the brow bone glows. So we can go in with the shimmer and strobe for highlighter, like this. I'm thinking maybe one of these two colors, or we can use the lighter side of the pyramids, like over here on this side, and use that as highlighter. So I'm thinking, hear me out on this, I'm thinking we use this one for the face and then the pyramid for the cheeks. Can we, can we all agree on this one? All right, so we're gonna take this color here. We're gonna put that on the tip of my nose. This highlighter is optional. A lot of people don't like it. I personally love it. I think it's one of my favorite highlighter places. Then I'm gonna put some right there and put some right there. And I'm gonna go in and put a little bit on the center of my chin, just a little bit more for good measure. <laughs> I keep looking at myself in the monitor because I'm like, am I overdoing it? I'm not using a mirror here, you guys. This is this is a risky business, what is happening right now. It's it's risky, but I do it for you. I do it for makeup, I do it for research purposes. It's, it's all for you, honestly. So um, I'm gonna pull up the mirror right now because we are going to go bonkers with this pyramid palette and I'm gonna focus it on this little quadrant right here and that is gonna go right all right sorry velcro I'm gonna have to get you out of the way just for a second do you guys see that glow should I get closer just for confirmation oh my gosh let's do the other side okay let's focus it on those four little squares let me 
hide my little Velcro patch. Wow, that was that was graceful, you guys. And I'm doing it again with no mirror. Wow. Oh my gosh. All right, you guys, we didn't go through all that trouble to make our face glow this hard to use a matte setting spray. So we're actually gonna use the Flower Beauty Seal the Deal Luminizing Setting Spray. It's a radiant finish to set all this delicious goodness. Make sure that when you set your face, you have a very sturdy piece of cardboard, cardstock, something that's going to work really well at drying that setting spray really fast. You guys, setting spray is great, but setting spray could also betray your love. You wanna make sure you have a really good distance so that it's not really big droplet. You wanna be as far away as possible. So are you ready? All right, ready? Pray for me. God, I love how that thing smells. It's like roses, but the scent doesn't linger. I know a lot of you have mentioned that like setting sprays that smell drive you bonkers. This one you spray it and you're like, wow, that smells amazing. But then boom, it's gone. And then it just smells like you. <laughs> when it comes to lip colors, sometimes I get overwhelmed with the amount of choices, options, formulations, combinations. And one of my favorite Flower Beauty products of all time, which you guys have seen in my favorites videos, quite a few times is the mix and matte lip duo particularly in the shade honey nude this is one of those purse shades or rather a product that i always have in my pocketbook it always looks good no matter what eyeshadow i'm wearing that day i'm skipping lip liner i'm not even gonna bother tell me that is not the most perfect pink nude Ever. and the matte formula of these lip colors likes team raisin lips okay if you've been here for a while you know I have a ton of texture on my lips I can't do anything about it and it doesn't seem to bother me however I'm not a big fan of matte liquid lips because it emphasizes those lines and you can tell this lip color it's very huggable, it's matte, but it's creamy. So there's not gonna be any dragging or um, discomfort if you choose to just wear this one product and not the bronzy side. All right, you guys, that completes this birthday look. All right, fine, it's a holiday look, it's a birthday look, it's a whatever look. I already told you guys it could be a Wednesday or a Thursday look. Now, I only showed you guys the lipstick portion of this. And I'm kind of thinking, well, you know what, Danny, you're doing your pandas kind of a disservice um, by not showing them the awesome metallic side because it's not metallic like what you're thinking. It is more of a very wearable, almost glow without the gloss. So a lot of us aren't fans of glosses because they make our hair sticky. This gives us the gloss sheen without the stickiness of an actual lip gloss. So you guys, Honey Nude, <laughs> it's your favorite. If you liked any of these products, I will make sure to list and link them in the description box below. These are some of my favorite videos to film for you guys because not only do I get to share some of my existing favorite products with you guys like Honey Nude or the Flower Pots blushes, but I also get to show you guys some new products that you definitely, 100%, most definitely, did I say definitely already? Need in your life. Now, if you liked more than one, don't forget that Flower Beauty does have a really awesome holiday sale going on right now. I will also leave a link in the description box below. Let me tell you guys, there is a bundle with this palette that you probably need in your life. <laughs> you guys enjoyed this video don't forget that if you head over to my Instagram later today you may want to be ready to tag your best friend in the comments and follow flower beauty because they're feeling very generous and they want to share with you guys so keep those eyes peeled follow us on Instagram uh, and I think that's it I love you guys so much and you know what to do if you found this video useful entertaining and learned something please give us a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and until next time this coffee break is over. Bye, guys.